Who should I show my poem to first? Obviously, fucking Natsuki. Yeah, she's getting it. Everything. <laughs> All my poem, my semen, my love, everything. Dot, dot, dot. Natsuki reads my poem. Oh, she yeah. She keeps glancing at me, then back the poem. Oh, yeah, read that poem, girl. I know. She must have read it more than once. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, more than once. Ah! Dot, dot, dot. Is it Question mark, bad? bitch. No. No, it's not. It's good. It's really good, okay? There, I said it. Ugh, it's not supposed to happen at all. Why can't you just be bad at this? My poems are supposed to impress to you, not the other way around. You're trying to impress me? Oh, obviously! You think I'll let you enjoy Yuri's writing more than mine? Oh, we're fucking. <laughs> Give me a break. We're <laughs> fucking, I'm sorry. Well, in that case, what's the problem with me trying to impress you? I'll tell you, you. Log line. That's if his face freezes and actually just realized something. You, 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 you're trying to impress me? That's if he vigorously scans. Vigorously! <laughs> my poem one more time. And the poem slips out of her hands and flutters to the floor. I have to use the bathroom. Oh, she's fingering herself in that bitch, I'm telling you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> she's, she's over 18, I can make these shirts all I want. Okay. Okay, so Natsuki quickly walks out the room. Hey, did you do something to Natsuki? I just saw her rush out like that. You didn't do anything terrible, did you? No. Uh, <laughs> I just told her that. My voice gets caught in my throat. There's no way I can tell Monica that I'm trying to impress Natsuki. Hmm? Monica sees the poem lying on the floor and swiftly picks it up. She reads through it, her smile not fading from her face. I see. Oh, you're trying to fuck, huh? You wrote this for Natsuki, didn't you? I, I mean, not really. In fact, didn't she like your poem a lot the other day, too? I'm surprised you know her taste so well already. Are you sure you're not cheating? Cheating? What do you mean by that? Never mind. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't understand Monica's joke at all. Anyway, how do you think Natsuki feels about you? Oh, you don't need to answer that. It's just something for you to think about. Hey! Natsuki comes up and snatches the poem out of Monica's hands. Neither of us had noticed her re-enter the classroom. Did you read this, Monica? Of course, I liked it. Uh, she really stopped reading things that aren't for you, you know. You have a bad habit of doing that. Eh. But he wrote this poem. And we're supposed to share with everyone, right? Uh, That's okay, freezes. She apparently forgot that my poem is technically for everyone to read. Okay, well, I think his is done. He's done sharing this poem with everyone. It's not like anyone would want to read this anyway. In fact, I'm just going to hold on to this. <laughs> she wants to you keep it. Oh yeah, she's gonna finger us to that poem. That's how good that bitch was. Fucking weird. Like, huh? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? <clears throat> Never mind. Ah, Natsuki. Yeah, she's fingering. <laughs> I'll give you the poem, but it's still not very fair to Sayori. She hasn't got to read it yet. So what? Well, I guess he's right, Natsuki. It's not fair if you don't let everyone finish reading it. Dot dot dot. Menacingly. Fine. That's a keep turn to the poem. It's not like she's going to like it, though. Anyway, read my poem now. And I won't let you keep it. This is my only copy. Okay. <laughs> okay, the name already oh, is just like so fucking one. cute. Amy like- Okay, hurry this bitch. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm my friends with her. One time, I heard my leg really bad. Amy held me up, took me to the nurse. Trying not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I never would see her talking to people. She probably talks about, she probably talks about spiders. What if her friends started to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies, it doesn't matter if she keeps it private, it doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross, she's gross, the world's better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Okay, so what I think... I feel like... Okay. I feel like this one's a lot more direct. This is... I feel like this is a little bit more obvious. Yeah. In my opinion, what I think... Tell me if I'm wrong or right in this one. What I think is... Imagine if spiders were manga. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I imagine. The spiders are manga, and then she's had problem making friends. That's why she's a, uh, you know, 
Mm-hmm. Oh, so, oh, so, sooner today. That's what I imagine. <laughs> All right, so not bad, right? Yeah, not bad. All right, continue. It's quite a bit longer no, than I mean, yesterday's. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, I was I was still reading the poem when you said that. <laughs> yesterday was way too short. I was just warming up. <clears throat> I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler and all, and, and all English. <laughs> and it helps people realize how stupid they're being. God damn it. <laughs> it's just like like you. everyone would agree that. For fuck's sake! Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is, is an ignorant jerk. Do you, Do you know people like that? Of course. <laughs> If I have everyone thinks my doesn't matter, it can be about anything. Uh, looks like you're right. Easy to relate it to. Everyone, everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Oh, my straight enough. Something that you're afraid of people finding out. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. They make fun <laughs> of you or think less of you. Oh, they do not. It's in my name. <laughs> but that just makes people stupid. Yeah, Kaden, you thinking you know, I jerk off too much is stupid because I, I love jerking off. That, but you who know, cares if you what wanna, someone if you likes something. as long as who cares what something what someone. Who someone Motherfucker English. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? I'm stroking my cock as we speak. <laughs> I think Stop. people really need to learn their sexual habits and weird things. <laughs> well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of other people can too. You know, I'm glad that you can appreciate this kind of writing. I mean, I know I was talking about that yesterday, but I've been, well, I've been enjoying sharing my writings with you, so. So consider yourself lucky, okay? <laughs> well, thanks for being honest. What's that supposed to mean? I'm always honest. Jeez. Just look forward to tomorrow, too, okay? Alright, I will. I'm fucking this shit out of her. Alright, which, so, so which you one are we Yuri and Monica. Okay. Up to you. Let's do Yuri. Alrighty. Dot, dot, dot. Um, are you still mad at me? Hey, did you click on the right one? Yuri, the uh, with, uh, purple bitch? Yeah, I clicked on Yuri too. Well done. I... Uh, uh, your skills are already improving. Uh, wait. What? Is this, are you... <laughs> I guess my, uh, I guess my poem her. was better than yours. <laughs> oh no, because I think your poem attracted her uh, more Yeah, than she the liked my poem more. Ah, uh, because you couldn't get the right one, you stupid bad. Okay, so I, so I, I wouldn't mind. For right. disrespect. Expecting Natsuki yesterday really? because reading this poem now I know you why you got mad at me because you you prefer her writing over mine. That's not really true. Coming from you, that means a lot. Eh, it's nothing. I'm just happy to help inspire fellow writers. I know you don't just <laughs> don't worry. So just... <laughs> Meaning when I disrespected her, I disrespected you too, didn't I? Oh no. This is so confusing when we have different words. I know. You might be reading into this a little too much. How could I be so stupid? I always let, the, let these things happen. Whenever I think before I speak, I just come up as awkward and unlikable. But if I speak without thinking, the things I want to keep inside come out be, be, and make people hate me. So please, don't force yourself to be around me. I know this is what Monica wants, but it's not fair to you when you can enjoy your time with Natsuki and Sayori. Yuri, Okay, well, please. an example of that if you'd like to read it. Tell concern. me when you get to start like, the reading bit. It's all I need. Yuri smiles Sally and puts her head down on her desk. I'm frustrated. I don't hate her, but it's just not capable of listening to me over her own thoughts. I sighed at myself. All, all right, I can uh, do is accept that how I thought she is. If she yeah. wants to be left alone, then I have to know she's to be a request. Hey, I'm, I'm oh, on the so phone right now. Whenever you get to it, just tell me. I'm not. She. Okay, I, I didn't. It didn't let me read her poem. You didn't get to read her poem? No, because she's like saying like, "Oh, don't force her to be with me." Oh shit. She don't like to. Like, because I'm, I'm going, I'm going straight for Natsuki, bro. She eat my Yeah, tongue. I was going for Natsuki right. too, but I just accidentally. I'm gonna read this poem anyway. Yeah, read the poem. All right, the raccoon. It happened in the dead of night. Oh yeah, I remember this one's a little bit weird. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scattering of a raccoon outside the window. That was, I believe, <laughs> the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My sub- subconscious. Well aware of the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of cut my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity. The raccoon, my urge and urge. The moon incites its phase and reflects that much more light 
off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistened in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken a following to me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, a raccoon shows me its excitement, a rush of blood. Classic Pavonian conditioning. I slice the bread, and I feed myself again. <laughs> any part cut you, the, any part threw you off, did they? <laughs> oh, everything threw me off, what do you mean the ending part? Everything, fucking okay, even the raccoon, oh, bitch, just eat the bread! The, the raccoon, and at the end, she says that she feeds herself again. Fat bitch! <laughs> I think you she sees herself, she's looking in a mirror or some shit. Yuri says, um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what this is supposed to be. What's supposed to mean? Well... It's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I want to express the way that it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. There's those sorts of things that I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Hmm, that's funny. Did Natsuki also write something about that? About someone being ridiculed for a strange interest? Yeah, or her she, she did. shit. Yeah, she did. Natsuki wrote the thing about the, the spiders. Mm-hmm. She was talking okay, about how it so doesn't matter what you're doing as long as you're not hurting anybody. Mm -hmm. she, so who's she's right. Are you still going? Oh. Yeah. Are, are, are you there as well? No, I'm still waiting. I remember I, I it didn't even let me read the poem. She's like, you don't have to oh, force so her to talk. Oh, so you're just like waiting on the next person. All right. Yeah, I'm uh, I mean, maybe pick this. Does she really feel that way? Or? Yeah. Sounds like you two have that in common. That's well, that's interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person who would make fun of my house. I suppose it's my fault for judging, isn't it? Ah, please don't tell her I said that. Uh, don't worry, I have no reason to. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing it with me. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I might be ranting a little bit right now. But I'm glad that you're good listening. Alright, I'm done. Okay, so, is my name Sayori or Monica? Sayori, probably. You wanna go Sayori? It's, yeah, it's the Sayori. Da da da! Oh, I like this one. It has some nice feeling in it. Nice, nice feelings in it. <laughs> ah, I'm glad. Still though, your tone makes it sound like you liked yesterday's poem better. Uh, I guess you caught me. Sometimes you know me a little too well for my own good. Well, don't just try to be nice about it. If I'm doing a bad job, then I'd rather just hear it. No, no. I still like this one, I promise. So you know I wouldn't lie to you. Never ever. Yeah, I guess so. What made yesterday's poem so great compared to this one, then? Um, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad, but that's why I just go up on my heart. It makes me feel things <laughs> tingly. <laughs> then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither, you stupid bitch! <laughs> uh. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Aw, you want me to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh, well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Stupid bitch. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Hmm, I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? No. Bittersweet. No. You're happy in things that are sad. Happy. And sad? <laughs> you must do it again. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know. Yeah, happy and sad. I, ca I can't see you liking something sad, sorry. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud on your, in your head, sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug. Make a nice happy rainbow. Sorry, that's unexpectedly poetic. Eh, it is? Yeah, I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks! I should go write that down then. 
You give me my palm now, okay? Bottles. Oh god. I pop off my scalp like the lip. What? Just go ahead, T-Brain. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Oh, okay. That's okay. Yeah. That's that's a little bit dark on my damn. That's that. You, you, you thought it was like you thought I was already getting like crazy. It was, it was, it was going. It was going. Yeah. <laughs> little balls of sunshine all running together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. Oh, really? Oh, um, you don't say. Uh, ah! But there's no time to waste. I put in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and bottles all in a row. My collection makes me a lot of friends. Each bottle has a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes the bottle as the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite line, Kaden. Like exploring a dark cave. <laughs> God. <laughs> Discovering the secrets of hiding in the nooks and crannies. <laughs> digging, digging, scraping, and scraping. Oh, I'm hard. <laughs> <laughs> I blood dust off my bottle caps. Does it feel like time elapsed? My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up, and in come my friends. Semen. <laughs> And they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in, the sh in shards all over the floor. They're supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling, but all shouting, pleading something. But all I hear is echo, 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 and so I don't get this one. Dude, what the fuck is up with this bitch? <laughs> You'll find so, out later. Okay. I feel like this poem will make a lot more sense to you later. Hold on, I'll think, let me just... I think I get it now. You so, get it? I... The, he gave some... The, uh, the main character, us, gave some context earlier how she's always caring about other people, but not herself. Yeah. This is her showing that she's caring so much about someone else, but she doesn't realize that she's hurting herself. Hey, you're pretty close. You're a dick. All right. I mean, you don't you don't know the full context though, so I mean, it's surprising you even got that. Yeah. All right. All right. Go ahead, everybody. All right. Continue. Holy crap! Sorry. Did you really write this? Of course I did. Did I tell you I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to be you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. Point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing's like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Writing, writing's the best! I'm gonna keep writing until I die! Uh -huh. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Cyrus always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those things. One of those times. But seeing the passion in your eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Time for Monica. Yeah, the last one's Monica. Hi again! That was kind of silly when Nazi gave earlier, wasn't it? I'm glad too you have been getting along so well. Dot, dot, dot. That's one way of putting it. Anyway, I haven't read your poem. You can go ahead and read mine now. But they, I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> Just keep reading it, you'll, you'll like it. Okay. The colors, they won't stop. Does this bitch have Alzheimer's? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm this sorry. We shouldn't joke about that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that shit. It made you laugh though, so yeah, you're I know, laughing at I thought, right, We have dark fucking humor. Just go ahead and keep reading. <laughs> Does she have Alzheimer's? <laughs> Grandma. All right. Um, bright, beautiful colors. 
flashing, expanding, piercing, bright green, blue, and endless cacophony. Light, cacophony of meaningless noise. Do you have epilepsy? <laughs> Just keep going. The noise, it won't stop. Violent. Grating. What is that? Waveforms. Waveforms? Yeah. Squeaking, screeching, piercing, sign, cuisine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl. Vinyl on a pizza crust. Yeah. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. Yeah. No, I'm lost. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. Wait, load, like, load in, like, the, the files? I don't like this. Okay, so I'm sorry if you don't like it. Tell me you're there already. I guess it's just the way I write. Sorry if you don't like it. Okay, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm there now. No, I never said that. It's just kind of a thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really sure makes me feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. Huh? What the fuck? Remember the poem was about like the, the meaningless noise all that Yeah, kind of... fuck this bitch, it's crazy. It's still hard for me to tell what's it, what it's about though. Uh, sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be a, can be used abstract as a physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's rant of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your mind, or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about the writing? What are you even talking about? Ha <laughs> ha That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. Okay, so we're not gonna say we're not saving, we're not going back, we're not bitches, we're playing through. Okay, everyone, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra fun today. So if everyone could come sit at the front of the room, is this about the, is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing each other instead of getting any new members. That's the concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with the last minute preparations. Don't worry so much, we're going to keep it simple, okay? We don't need much of more than a few decorations. So here's been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, uh, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? But, um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us is going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayuri is putting it all in the poetry in case anyone was prepared ahead of time. <laughs> Sayuri, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't. You didn't really start putting those posters up, did you? Uh, well, I did. Do we think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a, it's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of people, or a group of people, like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I can never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys. No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that? Remember the Natsuki and you have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago? It's a lot to ask them to recite their poems out loud a whole room full of people. I guess I kinda overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. Dot dot dot. But! I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club, and we start the event in e and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what the literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing yourself, your feelings, <laughs> but intimate, being intimate with yourself, oh yeah, intimate, <laughs> yes, yeah, intimate. finding new horizons and having fun, all right, <clears throat> and those reasons that we're all in this club today, do you want to share that with others and inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place, I know you do, I know we all do, and if all it takes is you standing in front of a room where for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I agree. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. 
At least we can do a south them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Dot, dot, dot. Looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Mm. Okay, fine. I gotta just have to get, over, get it over this. Alright. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, best Yuri, tip job known to man. Glances. <laughs> Your detective glances around at everyone else's expected faces. <sighs> I, I guess I don't really have a choice. Aha, that's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This kind of series is going to be a death of me. <laughs> oh gosh, it'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. Each of you choose a poem of Yuri. We're going to practice repeating them in front of each other. No, no, no way! Monica, this is too sudden. Well, you never said your poem in front of the club. How do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Uh, of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Hold on, give me a second, I'm getting my chocolates. Oh, we're, 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 we're gonna do this. We're gonna do, do this, this right. Chocolate. Got any chocolates, Mr. William. What kind of chocolate you got? Get out of my seat. Is it Hershey? Get out of my seat. Kisses, motherfucker, man. Hershey kisses. kisses? Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this, is this something she's done before, or is she simply unnatural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica recite, finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next. Well, you're inspired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem's called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets close past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure, as she insinuates with perfect timing. This would be, it must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her, as if bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterward, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not like we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were so caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good! Thank you for sharing. Dot dot dot. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. <laughs> okay, guess I'm next then. Sayar hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah, uh, ah! Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. So hard than I thought. I'm smoking. I was turning up from that fat bitch from Big Mouth. <laughs> oh my God! How did you get through so easily? Uh, try not to think of it like reacting to other people. Imagine you reacting to yourself in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your problem. It'll come out the best that way. Oh my god! I see, I see! <laughs> okay then! Sarah begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. <laughs> the poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene, but it's sweet. <laughs> that bitch is- Oh my god, Andrew! <laughs> if I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't take much of it. But hearing it come from Sarai's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sarai meant when she said she likes my poems. So I could get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sarai finishes, oh. and we applaud. Oh my god, I did it! <laughs> Good job, Sarai. <laughs> you mean you liked it? 
I guess that that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be the other problems that would work quite as well with that kind of that, that delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours when that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. You might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean! That's... Well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. Just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the next time, I'm going to <laughs> make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now who's next? Natsuki? <laughs> don't make me don't make me go before him. Not that I compare it to you guys anyway. Might as well let him lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Jeez. Natsuki. It's fine. It's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Yeah, I start whipping my cock out, <laughs> cock slapping at every single one of them. Just pop, 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 pop. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly oh, my, awkward. My terrible cock! I recite my poem. As so I not, start to come! <laughs> since I'm not exactly confident, I'm writing. It's hard to put energy into it. Just oh my that. god, so much! Once I, once I finish, <laughs> I receive applause anyway. I start smacking my cock! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Yeah, I'm too slow! God damn it, slime kills me. Don't worry about it too much. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't help. It doesn't help what we're talking about. It really doesn't. I think sorry. it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence. <laughs> That's something that will improve over time, though. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That's what leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat. And it makes her way to the podium. The poem is called. It's called. Why? Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. Hmm. Anyway, this poem is called. You fucking stupid bitch! What kind of poem is called jump? <laughs> like you write poems. <laughs> Once she starts reciting the her, the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little undoosed, her poem has a rhythm Unduced, and rhyme yeah. to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She helps back to her seat. So you see why I was called jump now, right? Yeah, because she's short and she has to jump around for shit. <laughs> no. Okay. Because the words like bounced up and down like the, the you know. Like her fat ass on my face, yeah. Yeah, I give up. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. Better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well. Do you at least be prepared not to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess that in that case, we don't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming the through. Might be hard, but I hope that all of you have an idea for what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem, get enough practice for the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Press square, square, square! <laughs> it, makes me, it makes me really happy. Uh, y yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. Oh, I think that's about it. For what happened? Nothing. Nah, no, say it, bitch. Don't worry about it. I thought the music cut out, but it didn't. <laughs> oh wait. Oh, it's gonna start it's soon. Just change to a different music. Okay, so it's gonna start soon, huh? No. At the festival. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write a poem for tomorrow as well. I've been working out. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend repair. Monday is the big day. Can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club, and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go with Sayori? Yep! 
Look at you two always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. <laughs> Must be a little nice, though. <laughs> I like how the, the, the fucking hit wasn't even in there. He just said it. <laughs> I know. I just, it, I it add a little bit of spice to it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay. You know how to say it. Whatever. Let's just go already.